Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Natasha Charmaine and in today's video we are doing a six month update to baby Milan and the six months that she has been here with us in this world. So stay tuned for this video. my phone to just keep a guideline of all the things that um, I've been keeping track of for maybe six months um, so let's start off with her pampers so the last time we were here for her three months she was wearing newborn pampers still at three months and right now she's wearing size one in pampers uh, we prefer prefer pampers pure to the other ones so she's wearing a size one in pampers um, she's now wearing three to six month clothing, which before she was, even at three months, she was still wearing newborn. Um, but she is growing a bit and, um, she had been gifted some clothing from her older cousin who is now a year old. So a lot of his older clothing and onesies, uh, we were given and, um, they're kind of like the unisex stuff, you know, mostly whites and anything that looks like it was girly, we took. So she's got an abundance of clothing and right now she's wearing three to six months. Um, also, Baby Milan is weighing in at 13 pounds. Um, her last appointment, she was weighing 11 pounds and um, the doctor says that she should be gaining ounces, only a few ounces as the days go by. So. From three months to six months isn't a lot of weight that she's gained, but again, she's only been drinking milk up until now. Uh, we went and got her ears pierced when she was four months old, and um, I don't know if you can see it, but I love them. They look really good. Right now we have gold balls, and uh, we want to switch them out to a pair of cute little baby diamonds, um, but in getting her ears pierced, she had developed... Uh, ear infection not ear infection but the ear hole itself had gotten infected um, we had been cleansing it every day twice daily and it has since gone away so now she has two cute little earrings in her ears that she will wear for as long as she wants to wear them nextly uh, we're no longer breastfeeding as of three months we had stopped breastfeeding baby Milan and uh, we'd only been using the formula so as of now, she's taking a bottle, I'd say three to four times a day. Um, right now, she has actually started eating solid foods, which we're really excited about. So we make a lot of her puree foods at home. We buy the vegetables and we buy the fruits and we puree them at home. So she's getting three meals a day, four bottles, and it starts with the bottle in the morning and then she has her first fruit then another bottle, then she has a vegetable meal, then another bottle, and then her meal for the evening is usually rice cereal. And before she goes to bed, she usually has another bottle. Uh, the foods that we started off with her are the sweet potato, we've been doing her green peas, we've also been doing pumpkin, and I think we did one more. I think it was squash possibly, I'm not sure. Um, and the fruit that she's been using are like mango, which she's okay with. Um, apple, she doesn't like too much. The pear, she doesn't like too much. Um, banana, she's really good at eating the banana. So, I mean, we try to mix it up to give her the things that we think she might like, but we also like to mix it up so we can see what things she does like by giving her different foods all the time. Just because she likes the banana, we don't always give her the banana. So that's where she sits with her meals. Um, her nails, her nails still grow like wildfire. I swear to you, I have to cut them at least twice a week, otherwise she'll end up scratching the hell out of you. And it's not on purpose, but they grow really fast and so we just gotta stay up on them. Um, her hair, her hair is pretty soft and curly and I love doing her hair. I can't wait till I can do more with it. And apparently neither can she. <laughs> 
Um, but we are here right now. It's growing really well. It's about three inches long and I'm actually able to put it in a ponytail. Um, her hair routine, we pretty much wash it maybe once out of the week when we give her a bath. And uh, we use the Johnson's Head to Toe Shampoo and Bathing Wash. And uh, she takes about two baths a day. Normally in the summertime, we give her about two baths a day because it gets so hot. And um, we just wanna make sure that she's cool enough during the day. So we give her a bath in the morning and then she's cool enough at night to go to sleep. So we give her a bath at night. But as the weather is getting cooler, it's not necessary to give her the two baths a day. But she loves taking her bath. She loves bath time. She loves the water. She's constantly kicking. So we keep her in for a little bit just so she can play. And um, that's where we sit with her bath time. Uh, right now, she is trying to talk to you. She babbles a lot. She says a lot of things. Um, I'm, I'm actually convinced that the other day her first word was dada and um, there's a little controversy there because even though it said dada it sounds like she actually said my name Natasha you be the judge of it <coughs> baby Milan also has a few toys that she really enjoys this is one of her favorite toys. It's her teether. She hasn't actually started teething yet, um, but she does. Oh, she's tired. <laughs> but she does love sucking on her teether. She also has her little lion bear that has the little suckers on the end. You want to suck on this? You want this one? Okay, she's going to stay with that one. <laughs> but as of right now, she's not teething yet. Her last doctor's appointment was the six month appointment that we just had with the pediatricians and they checked her gums and there's nothing coming through yet. So she's not teething, but we are waiting for her to actually do that. Um, not that we're in a rush, but once it comes, you'll know because she'll start crying and going crazy. So that's where we are with that. Again, baby Milan is not a self soother. So when she cries or get cranky, we still always have to give her the pacifier to soothe her or we just hug her and just rock her until she stops crying um also she doesn't hiccup as much as she used to when she was a newborn uh she does every now and again but not as much as you would expect from a newborn and lastly for sleeping <laughs> she sleeps through the night pretty well she gets about 10 hours of sleep at night she doesn't go down on her own so you usually have to stay with her for a while in order to get her to sleep but she is familiar with the routine when the lights go down it's time to go to sleep right after her bath time and she may wake up once in the middle of the night just to get a bottle feeding because if she wakes up she's going to be hungry but she's really pretty good at sleeping through the night during the course of the day she may sleep about two or three times during the day she's not really good at going down during the day so it's hard to get her to take naps in the daytime yeah you don't like sleeping and she really doesn't like sleeping in her crib so it's hard to get her to do that as well so we do the best that we can to try to get her to get her rest because it's important that she does that so <laughs> with all that said that's pretty much the update of baby milan she doesn't have any any nuances any new things that she's been doing um she does scream a lot uh, like that <laughs> And that's pretty much expected with any baby as they come into their own and they start talking and trying to talk. Oh, wait, I forgot. Baby Milan is sitting up on her own and we are so proud of her. She's sitting up unsupported. And also, she even started crawling, which is one of the best things to see. She's not crawling as fast as most babies are, but she's definitely getting started. But that's pretty much where we stand with her. Uh, you want to say anything to the people? Say, just come back to our video and watch. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, thank you guys for stopping by and thank you for watching this video and we hope to see you in this next one. If you're not subscribed, please be sure to subscribe. Hit the like button if you like this video and be sure to share, share, share. We love you. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in our next one. Say bye, baby. Bye, people. Say bye, people. Bye. <laughs>